Hi everyone, this is Mehul Mehta and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a lot of students have recently reached out to me expressing their, um, you know, their concern regarding whether they should pursue a master's in data science or master's in quantitative finance. And, you know, and when I'm speaking about master's, I'm referring to United States. So please make sure whatever I will say right now is with respect to US and not India. So recently, you know, I've been speaking with a lot of students in US and all of them have done like masters in data science, but they are not able to find jobs. It's been like almost a year that these students have graduated and not only like they have graduated from good universities, they have good profile too, but they haven't secured good jobs. And I'm not sure why that is happening with respect to data science. But I'm seeing a lot of trend that these data scientists are then applying to other roles, you know, risk related roles. Uh, I was talking to this other guy and he said like he was trying for all data science roles and he did not get anything. And then he, you know, he uh, he got a role in credit risk. And similarly, I have speaking with, you know, recently I've been speaking with a lot of students and everyone have said the same thing. They have not gotten roles in data science. I'm not sure what's happening within the data science industry, but if you guys are coming for masters in data science, I would highly recommend, please talk to seniors, talk to alumni, if, even if you have gotten admits, talk to the students of the, or students or alumni, best is talk to the alumni of those universities, ask them how's the current market right now. Uh, you know, people who are graduating, are they getting jobs? And one one most important thing is all these universities, they do say that, yeah, 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 you know, our students are doing phenomenal. They are getting great jobs whatsoever, right? Don't trust them. Universities never say correctly, okay? And this is something that I, when I came here, I got to know. All these universities are headed by different people and not everyone says the truth, you know? So some might say truth, some might not, okay? So uh, please make sure... Don't just get, don't just go by what the university says, because the university can say that oh you know yes definitely like uh you know our students have gotten one fifty thousand dollars job, and when you actually go and visit each and everyone's individual profile, you'll see that a lot of students have not gotten job itself, and they have they, there's one student who has gotten one fifty thousand dollar job, so point I'm trying to make is see all these universities their aim is to generate money. Absolutely, they are generating revenue, but it's not like, and they are generating revenue from international students like us. Point I'm trying to say is, if you are planning to pursue a master's in data science, please talk to alumni. They'll give you a good picture. What I'm seeing right now, the trend in US, data scientists are not getting jobs easily. It's very tough to crack a data science jobs. Now, second thing is master's in con finance. Yes, I feel if you're planning to pursue master's in quant finance, it's a great decision. Why do I say that? Because I've seen so many people have gotten good job offers. Definitely competition is there, but the number of job opportunities are also huge in US. I would say if you are seeing, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but the biggest quant market in the world is in US. There are so many quant related opportunities, uh, I can't even tell you, you know, in US, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. There are so many recruiters that reach out to me and I'm telling you about recruiters from JK, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, all big banks, all, all good institutions. And they reach out to me. They say, hey, we have an opening and this and that. Okay, this is another point. But point I'm trying to say is they, there is a lot of job opportunities for corn finance. So definitely if you're coming in corn finance, it would be a great decision. Now, uh, what can you do to elevate your profile? I can understand that you might not have a prior corn finance uh, work experience. So, you know, a lot of students do reach out to me and they say, what can we do to elevate our profile? Make sure you have done coursework in linear algebra, probability theory and calculus and even programming, any programming, be it Python, C, C++, whatsoever, make sure you have these four requirements because these are the prerequisite for any con finance program. So even if you, uh, so even if you have, you are from a BCom background or a BBA background, make sure you do all this coursework either in your university or from some other university or from Coursera. 
these are certain you know these are the four coursework which are really highlight which are which is really needed in all the universities that is first thing second thing is of course if let's say you are a student and it can be the case that you might not have a job or have not secured internship and quant or risk related roles so what you can do as a candidate is work on a lot of projects that is the only way to upskill yourself you know or to make your profile better third thing is research papers so okay first thing is coursework coursework on linear algebra calculus probability theory and programming second is work on a lot of projects third thing is research paper i'm not sure if you have a mentor but if in case you need a mentor you can reach out to me on my instagram uh, i can mention that in my email you know in the youtube job description my instagram id and say that uh, hey i'm looking for a mentor for a research paper or you can always say that hey i'm looking for a mentor for my master's application and i'm more than happy to help you uh, guys and you know helping in understanding what the apply how the application process looks like in the us what are the requirements these university want and everything from scratch you know i'll guide you in a good way but point i'm trying to say or uh, the reason i'm creating this video is to make you understand and make you aware that if you are planning to pursue masters in data science masters in business analytics masters in analytics please make sure to rethink your decision people are not getting jobs there is no sense of putting in $50000 or $40000 and securing no job and sitting idle for almost a year there is no sense of doing that so please make sure you when you are when you are either and i'll tell you in india what happens all this education consultant they'll say the job market is great for data scientists no it does not they want to make revenue out of you that's why they are saying those things to you but i'm not here to make revenue i'm here to tell the truth don't just waste your money just by pursuing a master which has no future and i'm not saying it it has no future in india and that's why i'm saying whatever i'm saying is is with respect to us i'm not able to see students getting good job offers in data science roles because they have they have, because what's happening around now is all the people who were in computer science you know they have been laid off a lot of people have been laid off so now these people are trying into data science or business analytics roles data science also trying into these roles business analytics people are also trying in such roles finance and con finance folks are also trying in uh, you know they are also trying into data science roles so if you see more or less all the fields are attacking data science right so now the supply is more and the demand is less so even if you see one opportunity they all the people from this area will apply into that but for con finance that is not the case because in any con finance uh, jobs right they require you to have knowledge of derivatives risk management fixed income modeling stochastic calculus these programming data sciences of course you know something that they also require but all this major subjects not many people know or, or not many people are aware about that's why this is something that makes the job more you know easy to crack as compared to a data science role so i hope this video might help you in some or the other way the main goal is to make you aware please don't fell into the trap of educational consultant who are trying to fool you just so that they can make money out of you the end goal for you is to you know of course secure a masters in us and make sure whatever career path you are choosing has a great uh, you know career forward in usa don't just go with the words what educational consultant say they also have tie ups with different universities so they also earn a good commission whenever they send to send you to a specific university one such university is arizona state university there are many universities like that in which the all this education consultant has a direct you know connect with these uh, universities and when they send you they get a commission so please make sure you talk to seniors you talk to alumni of those universities which can give you the right direction so i hope this video might help in some or the other way if you need any help in your masters application in quant finance or in finance please reach out to me on my instagram which i'll highlight in the comment section uh, or in the youtube description sorry so i wish you all the best and please let me know if you have any doubts